Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mandrabug the Gamer here. And today we are going to do a challenge for the game Dark Cloud. And this challenge is going to be quite the challenge for me. It is a no grind challenge. Now what I mean by that is, this is going to be a straight playthrough. I am not going to take the time to upgrade my weapons any extra than what I do in the game. So, this is going to be quite the challenge for me. For anybody who has watched my recent Twitch stream of this game, you all know how much I love to grind on this game. But, let's just get into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, during some parts, I will read to you, because I do want this to be more of a, a playthrough, walkthrough, let's play. Also a bit of ASMR included in this. So I just want you to relax and enjoy the game. For any of you who have never played this game, it is a PS2 classic, and you can purchase this on the, P on the PlayStation Store for PS4 and PS5 in the Classics catalog. So, if you have the inkling to pay this game, by all means, play it. It's a wonderful JRPG. You won't regret it. But if you just want to watch me play this game, then just chill and relax with me. And hopefully I don't rage too much. <laughs> then by all means, continue watching. And I hope you enjoy. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story, do you believe in the story woven in the book? Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. Let me tell you this story. This ancient book tells of a magical and magnificent fairy tale. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is... Okay, so on my Twitch stream, I did rename all these characters, but I'm going to leave them as default for this playthrough. So. We are going to leave it as Toen or Tuen. I think most people call him Toen. He's a boy from Naruto, apparently. Except. Okay, so we are going to start in the dark shrine. This is the first cutscene of the game, of course. And I probably won't try to read it because it goes by a little fast for me. So I'm just going to let you enjoy this cutscene, the music, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what I plan to do on this playthrough. So, um, like I discussed earlier, this is going to be a no-grind challenge, so I'm going to just kind of go through the game, and I'm not going to take any extra routes to upgrade my weapons, we're just going to go straight shot. But, this is a very good cutscene, but as you can see, the, the words kind of go by a little quick, so I don't want to distract you too much if you're Let us enjoy the ceremony. I remember watching this as a child. Well, 
a young kid. <laughs> I was probably a teenager when this really came out. And I just loved this game. I still do love this game, even with its quirks. It's just a wonderful PS2 classic. And for what I know of this game, it was one of the first JRPGs featured on the Sony PlayStation. And it may have been a launch title. I had a friend tell me that it was. Also, if you at any point hear my dogs barking, I'm just going to apologize up front. I am recording late at night, but they still bark from time to time, unfortunately. <laughs> so what we are doing here is we are doing some bad shit, and they shouldn't do this. I'm just going to go on the record and say that these guys shouldn't do this. It is very frightening of power. Definitely tell that the, uh, the music is reaching its apex into the climactic moment. It's going to happen. Now is the time. Very stereotypical genie. start doing some voices. What I was going to say is that I will do voices at times in this game, but some of the time, like in the earlier cutscene, I won't. But I just think it might be a little more relaxing for you to hear me say the words. So here we go. Toen, it's already started. Come on, let's go. Toen, it's already started. Come on, let's go. See, I told you. You should have hurried. Come on, we're late. I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. 
Oh, she left you. Toen, hurry up. That's right, Toen, eat up. Okay, so... Looks like we have a festival going on. excited about it. We got some more dancing going on. It looks quite similar to the dance that the other people were doing too. Well, he did a good job of destroying the village, buddy. Got a trip. 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 Hi there. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up. Hey. Fairy King. I'm the entity that unites all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village, in a flash, many villages and towns were destroyed. In one night, half of your world was annihilated. Yeah, not good, not good. It must be the men from the east that performed the resurrection ceremony. Probably thinking to use its black demon power for war, without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness, pure darkness itself. Long ago, this so-called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world. Its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has the same type of magical power as us spirits. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Young man, I see that you have a strong will that could withstand the evil power, and also a clear, kind heart. 
you might be able to fight against the darkness it generates. I decided to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with power. There, surprised. That's called Atla Milia. It's a stone with magical power. Oh, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Do you know where this is? This is no simple empty lot. This was your village. But do not lose heart. As long as you have that stone, you can return it to its original form. You see, just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spheres called Atla. It seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. They were probably blown to different places around the world. It probably thinks everything is destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb that which I sealed in Atla, using the Atla Milia, and bring them back. Then you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. You may even be able to create an even better world than before. Hmm. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Oh well, I'll give you another lesson when you acquire some Atla. So long? seems pretty optimistic for a guy who just has to repair the whole world, right? Toen, can you hear them? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind, voices of the trees, voices of the animals, and the voices of Earth. They are all calling for your help. Toen, you will probably meet and say goodbye to many people. In talking to these people, you may receive clues to defeating the darkness. Look for them. Now, tell it, your adventure will begin. First, go to the village chief's house. He'll show you where to go next. Alright, so we are in the first area, Norun Village. So, what I plan to do in this playthrough is I'm probably not going to do much reacting to the game so much. I will read you what's happening, like in these cutscenes and such. Which, speaking of one, we got one coming up. Ah, Toen, you are alive. Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamt this would happen. One night and our village is gone. Can you believe this, Toen? I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? I guess the only thing we can do is to get help from the guardian of Narun village, Dran. Dran will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure. I have a favor to ask, Toen. Go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Dram what happened. Divine Beast Cave is the cave outside toward your right hand side. You've probably seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. This is the cave key. Get the cave key acquired. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble in there, come back here. I'll get you more supplies. Good luck. 
Okay, so, as I'm saying, I'm probably not going to do much reacting to this because it's, I did that in my Twitch stream <laughs> and this is more of a playthrough where I'm going to let you see what happens and you're not going to get reactions from me as well. The spiky bugs coming out. Oh, I got a prickly. <laughs> you know, I didn't do this. I never opened this door. Wow, that's... Probably should have explored a little bit my other playthrough, should I? But since this is very fresh in my mind, since I just finished playing it, I'm just going to try to do it as quickly as possible. So we are going to just move on into the game. So let's do so. So that means like any of these tutorials that you're gonna see like come up, I'm probably gonna skip through because I already know how to play the game. And it's not really anything that is incredibly relevant to the storyline. Of course, it's just tutorials. So we don't need to waste time with the Fairy King's lessons. <laughs> so we are going to skip parts of this. I'm not going to like read all of this. Too. Okay, so basically we got to get the gate key. If you watch this, you will gather this without me having to read all this to you. It's pretty self-explanatory. And I might, I might have a lot of trouble. I'm not sure. Hopefully I get lucky with this playthrough and get some good weapons and not have to worry about my no grinding. and there's weapons. This is where it's going to be prudent that I get a little lucky. We will see what happens. I don't want to rage. I really don't. But I might. So basically we go through the dungeons. This is a dungeon crawler. And you collect the Atla and we restore the towns from the Atla in the dungeons. So, we are going to start and we just have a plain. We might like hear like, the clicking of my, um, my controller. I'm sorry about that. The Blue Yeti, which is the microphone I'm using, is very sensitive. Because I want it to be more of a relaxing type of event. This meaning that I'm so used to not getting it because of all the grinding I did. So we got our first Atla. This, um, the first levels are going to be a little brutal to me because of how slow it feels like Toad is moving. There is a layer that makes this move faster called the Drail's Feather. And I will be ready to get that because it feels like I am going so incredibly slow. <laughs> This is all in the name of relaxation. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure, like, watching me destroy monsters is not inherently, you know, very relaxing, but maybe it will be. I hope that it will be. I don't want to be too incredibly chatty, but it is in my nature to be so.
but I think this would be good for people that couldn't make my streams and will just kind of get what this game is all about. The magical crystal illuminates all of the items on the map, and the map is obviously the map of the area. And the red dots are enemies, and the green dots are Atla, that we all want to connect and collect. I'll go down this way first, because there is a treasure chest this way. And it's probably got the bone key in it. Just an item you do need. And there are the yellow, or the yellow dots are chests. So I am going to want to try to eliminate as many monsters as I can on the floors because yeah, there's that bone key I was mentioning. So oh, the cave bats. They are one of the easiest, but they are very annoying because they can poison Toad and other characters. And poison is one of the most annoying status effects. So I'm not a big fan of the cave bats. <laughs> not gonna lie. So that yellow right there, that is the exit, but we still have Atla to collect, so we are going to do that first. And as you can see, my weapon is about to break, so we are going to use that powder I got right there. So my weapon is full, but I don't have any attachments for it at the moment, but I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it because I don't want to be wasting my time and eliminating things doing so. so. And I am getting thirsty, so water is an issue as well, as you can see. It hydrated him and refilled it. So that becomes a problem in some levels. Now, so you don't just have to worry about your health in this game. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that uh, red. Because um, you get free bread and free water and a free inventory drink from the mayor. So we are going to take full advantage of that. of the challenge, I cannot go and grind, so I kind of just have to 
go straight through and hope for the best. Okay, so now the Fairy King is teaching us about how Atla works, and basically you can take, yes, we are going to restore the earth. You take all of the little pieces that you get, and you place them. And that's when we talk to the people, they help. Well, they give you, um, well, they have their requests that they want fulfilled. So, I will do that thing. I will try to do 100% on things like that. I don't think I actually used anything where I can spam the mayor for. But we are going to check that out. Oh, I guess I did. Okay, so... What you like to do is... He gives you a free repair powder. And... So, I'm going to make sure that my weapon is fully taken care of and ready. And see, I have another one in my inventory. And we will be making use of this for the first until we get a shop available, which is, I can't remember how long it actually takes, but it takes a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and place some of the people's houses. That's Macho's house. And we did get Macho. So let's put it right there. Now we got a pond, we got trees, road, and river. I'm not gonna worry about those at the moment. We'll take care of that stuff when we can. But there are usually treasure chests around when you put down a place or an item. So I wanna make sure I get those. Ah, Tillman, I missed you, man. Your smile really brightens my day. And there are as you can see, Adventure Day 1 does. There are times of the day, and as you can see, the time changed, so he disappeared on me. So let's go find where he's at. Maybe he is in his house. And he is. Is there any chest? No. Okay. Alright, so... You can ask them, you can talk to them, but I'm not really going to worry about that in this playthrough. Um, you can ask them how you want, how they want you to rebuild the town. You can ask them what will happen when it's done. And then you can tell them, ask them how to rebuild your house, their house. So, um, you wanted a barbell. And when you go into edit mode, now this, see these two parts did have the little question mark, but since I talked to him and found out what he needed or wanted, now I need to find these items and I don't have them at the moment. But we are going to save and I'm going to put this onto a new file, as you can see. This is from my file from um, my Twitch stream. Um, the Twitch, my Twitch is going to be linked in the description below. So feel free to follow me on there. I would love to see you in streams. I am actually still working on this game. I'm doing the bonus dungeon. So come and hang out with me. But. This is going to be a bit different for me. Okay, so you can see this is B2, and it tells you how many Atla there are to collect. And there are, I think that was eight Atla. And we have a key cat, which is adorable, I must say. And it just disappeared into the air. Well, we have a new enemy, uh, Yamish, I would say. And 
Some floors don't have those, so you never really know what you're gonna get. Let's see what we have. Oh, we have our first attachment. Good. That will be good for when I upgrade, and I'll show you guys. It's almost ready to upgrade. Also, there is a, what is called a broken dagger glitch, which I did not know about until I read, but I had a viewer come and talk to me about it, and I looked it up, <laughs> and there is a way to grind it easily with the broken dagger glitch, but I'm not going to do that. This is going to be a challenge for me. So I want to make it a challenge. That should be enough to get. Alright. So what we want to do is we want to put this attachment and we want to put it right here. And this slot right here. And you can see right here, see it says fire and it gives me three power. And this slot is blue. And I will explain something later, but um, let's just go ahead and upgrade this. But that's what attachments do. And it gives extra power to your level ups. So now we've got the fire element. So enemies that are weak to fire, we would want to put that with. that back floor to go that way. I need what is known as tram oil for this particular dungeon. And we haven't come across any of that. But that's where you get the really good attachments and I'm really hoping that I get lucky with that. <laughs> we got the barbell from Macho. So we want to use the bow key so that we can get to this final atla. Okay. And we're going to come up here and we're going to take out this enemy. And now we 
just want to head out because it looks like we cleared it. Very, very slow. It feels so slow, guys. It feels so slow. I'm so spoiled to that. <laughs> Okay, first of all, I'm gonna go up here real quick and just refill his water because, like I said, you never know if you get on a floor and you don't have that, and so you might as well do it when you have the opportunity. And it's right near the exit, so. Alright, so Drance pressed it up. We are going to leave the dungeon every time just because I want to get some more repair powder. I think I need it because I'm pretty sure I used it. So let's go over to the mayor's house and see what we can do in there. See if he gives us some stuff. Yeah, if he, if he says that, then it means he did. So, um, we're going to use the repair powder that he gave us. We're going to put the bread up there, put that extra water up there. Escape powder will probably come in handy as well, but for me in this playthrough. Alright, now he gave me another repair powder, so we are good. We are good. So we want to, I want to save, oh no, 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 not there, <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to do that, like that is a little dangerous <laughs> for me, I don't want it to do that, because I am, I don't want to erase that in my haste, but we've got Komacho, so we have a new character there, got the barbell, at the annex room and uh, we need to go talk to this new character to find out what he wants but where is he at? No, that's Macho. Maybe he's in the house? Let's take a look. Let's see if we can find him. Yep, there he is. Sometimes chests pop up and yeah, I don't see any new chests but that's okay. Uh, quite the light flashing from the sky. Okay, so what does he want? He wants to have the house to be somewhere where he can get a good workout. And he wants to give us something for strength. A fence and a lamp would be nice. Okay, so basically I've already put the Macho Brothers where they want to be. They want to be near the dungeon right here so that they can get a good workout in. So they are already going to be pleased with their placement. And we are finished with them. So let's go do our very first event. Yeah, we've done it. That is quite the large barbell, I must say. Thank you. Stonebreaker acquired, which is an attachment. Oh, we've got a we got a brawl going. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. Can't take this anymore, bro. Gonna settle this with a battle. That's normal. For brothers, I assume. Oh, really? Ready when you are. So, there's a. Yeah, you <laughs> have the little sweat drip down. But check that out. We've got our first area complete. 
we did cap the event. Um, it looks like we have a windmill we can place, but I'm not going to worry about, like I said, I'm not going to worry about that stuff yet. So, let's go ahead and save, and I'm glad that it put it down there. I guess I'm going to have to make sure that it doesn't do that. Like, I don't want to overwrite my other file. I definitely do not want to do that. Okay, so let's check out this floor, B3. Looks like we've got another visit from the Fairy King. in you because it's so hard to get to it. Um, because the mayor only gives us one. So, I don't think it's So, I never want to see the bats. Now, I could not fight any of the enemies now that I've got this test. But, since this is my no-grind challenge, I've got to try to get all the XP that I can on these wars because I'm not going to go back and do anything else with them. So in my other playthroughs, what I do is I go back and I grind out levels in the dungeon and I overpower my weapons. And we are not going to do that, we are going to just and see what happens and hope for the best, basically. Ooh, I gotta prepare my weapon. I let him get a hit in on me there because... Statues are tough because they are, and we have the statue dogs, which aren't as tough as you can see. It's like, you know, it's bad. But that was an attachment that we just got. Endurance plus one. Well, at least it gave me some more repair powder because I have already used mine. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. Very, very slow. I feel slow anyway. I need to get them trans feathers, I'm telling you. So we are going to go this way first. Uh, 
Stone Breaker, which I am immediately going to put on here. And we're going to put Endurance on there as well, because that will help with the statues. Although I do hope that I get a better weapon soon. I really, really do. But sometimes you can go through these things. Through. It took a while before I got another weapon for Toen, and I was just running around with the stagger. And it was it was a little tenuous at parts, but once I started getting weapons and I could build them up, which you will see me do later, it becomes more nice. Is the escape? All right, good deal. So we are good to go. We've completed this before. So let's go out. I am transgressed to getting a great collection of pricklies, which I will more than likely sell when I can. Okay, we are going to leave the dungeon temporarily. As usual. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to the to the mayor. Get us get us some stuff. Yes, thank you. Um, it's it's basically full, but you know what? as well get it topped off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, so. We're gonna do a little bit of assembly. We got Claude's house. We're just gonna put Claude right here for now. And we don't have, like, anything. We don't have Claude for one thing yet. But we have doesn't go there. Uh, okay, we have Toen's Llama. We do have Gaffer's Buggy here, but I'm not going to worry about doing Gaffer's Buggy until later because there is a reason for that. Um, and besides, I don't have Gaffer yet anyway. Okay, so I am going to say and there we go. And well, let's check around here real quick. See if there's anything. I don't see anything here. Okay. Alright then. I'm going to close it for this part. But I just want to thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that it relaxed you. 
if you are using it for ASMR purposes. I hope that it did its job in that regard. And if you are just wanting to know what this game is all about, or if you just want to hear me complain about the no grinding challenge, I got you. <laughs> Thank you for being here, and I hope to see you in the next part and onward as we complete Dark Cloud with absolutely zero grinding. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something to see, so thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you next time. Have a good one.